welcome to a more professional setup. Uh, I've got my microphone here recording audio properly. My camera's in a well-lit room so it doesn't look like shit. Uh, cool. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm going to be doing, uh, you guys really seem to like the last news video I did, so I'm going to be doing a, uh, a review on the entire album, Simulation Theory. Just doing the normal version, not the deluxe or anything. But I will talk a little bit about uh, a couple of the other songs. Uh, on the uh, Deluxe and Super Deluxe editions. So yeah, let's get right into it, and um, I'll count down from 11, go to 1, and uh, yeah, and we'll talk about it. Cool. Number 11, Something Human. So, a lot of you guys probably expected that Something Human would be on my bottom, if you've heard it. It's kind of, like, I don't, I don't hate any of these songs, like, all of these songs are good songs, and I really enjoy the album uh, as a whole altogether, but Something Human is just a little underwhelming for me, you know what I mean? Like, um, it's in a, it's in a major key, which is it, which is w weird for Muse. They don't do a lot of songs in their major key, so I don't know whether they were a little bit out of practice. I know Matt wrote it uh, while they were on tour or when they got back from tour, so yeah, I'm not sure the story about writing it, but it doesn't really seem to fit in with the album, the style they're going through. It, through. Uh, there's a little bit of synth in there, but not enough to really warrant it being this 80s in this 80s and bite album. So yeah, um, not the great, uh, not 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 the best, a little underwhelming. Um, yeah. So next, ten, propaganda. So I like propaganda. I like it's definitely inspired by Prince, uh, especially I think Kiss. It very much sounds like a song that is inspired by Prince. Um, I hate the the beat that goes pro -pro 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 propaganda. It just really annoys me. Uh, I don't know why. I, I'm, if you guys like these songs, it's, it's all, all power to you. But I just couldn't really didn't really love it. Um, it still had. I love the Prince part. I like the chorus. The chorus is uh, not the chorus. I like the verses. The verses sound cool um, with that Prince inspiration. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit above uh, something human. Like they were very close. I couldn't figure out which one I wanted at the bottom. But I think that propaganda is just just for that vocal, and I just think it's cool. So I stepped it up, I stepped it up a little bit to number ten. So number nine, number nine, the void. Um, not bad. It definitely was the end of an album. It was better than uh, say in drones. They had um, drones. You know what I mean? Um, they had you know just this weird thing leading out. Like at the end of their albums, they always kind of seem to do a lead out. Like or, or in their last couple of albums, they've done like a lead out. I think this is the better one of their lead outs. So it's very kind of reminds me of Exogenesis Symphony, things like that. It's good, but um, yeah, no, it, it definitely ranks. I think I'm, I'm happy with its ninth position on the list. Number eight, Algorithm. Algorithm is a great opening song to the album. It sets up the uh, sets up the 80s theme of the album. Um, yeah, like it, it kind of sets it up. Doesn't really do much more for me. Gets that synth, that synth, that kind of bass is, is cool. And I said that in my reaction video that I did, if you want to watch that, uh, click wherever the info thing is. But yeah, um, not my favorite uh, Muse song, definitely. And one of, my, one of the lowest on the album, I think. Number seven, Dig Down. I love Dig Down. It's a cool song. It's got this cool groove to it. I love the use of the uh, Mesa Kitara. If you don't know what the Kitara is, uh, they used it on Madness. Uh, it was like it's like an instrument. It's like a guitar-shaped synthesizer kind of thing. It's really cool. I, I really uh, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description if I remember um, to like Mesa's page. They don't make the Kitara anymore. I think they're actually planning on making a new version uh, available very soon. So. Uh, yeah, it was cool. I liked the use of the Katara. Um, the build-up is great, and then when it really hits that, you know, that crescendo, it's just so cool. I love the ending of this song. It's great. It's great. Number six, Get Up and Fight. I like the intro. I like the... I like that. That's cool. I don't know, I don't know who sang it, um, but yeah, I kind of like it. It's definitely not... Uh, Muse hasn't made many songs like this in the past. I think this is them kind of trying to pander to that pop audience that they get, you know. Um, it kind of sounds like an old 2000s pop song, like pop rock song. Uh, similar to like Red Jumpsuit, Red Jumpsuit Apparatus is kind of what the vibes that it was giving me. So yeah, I like it though. I love the hook, Get Up and Fun. It's really cool, yeah. Like I enjoy the, I enjoy the song overall. Um, yeah, I have no real complaints about it other than it doesn't, like it doesn't, really fit in with the album something like something human did it doesn't really feel like that 80s 
vibe. Uh, it kind of just feels like a soft rock song. Number five, Pressure. Pressure has some awesome guitar licks. Uh, the performance on the vocals are pretty strong. Uh, the lyrics, not so great, but um, yeah, I really enjoy Pressure. It sounds like they're having super fun with it. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it when it came out. I listened to it like 20,000 times. Uh, yeah, it was really good. I enjoyed it. Uh, the marching band sound kind of harkened back to Second Law. That was cool. Um, and especially in the uh, deluxe edition, they actually performed it with a marching band. I can't remember which marching band it was, but they, uh, they performed it with a real marching band. And it was good. It was good. It was really good. That doesn't improve the song for me any. No solo on this song. I think it really could have used a solo. And um, a lot of their songs do have solos. I, I know they're trying, they might try to be straying away from that format of like, Verse, uh, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, solo, chorus, chorus, you know what I mean? That's a, that's a thing they normally do for their pop songs. Um, I think they're trying to stray away from that, which is okay, but I just think Pressure could have used a solo, you know? Number four, Thought Contagion. I love the synth of the, uh, of the th of Thought Contagion. That's the immediate thing that drives me there, like, it's off key. Uh, the bass is really cool as well. It's just a up and down kind of motion on the bass. Really cool though, I enjoyed it. Like, it's very simple, but, you know, groove is cool. Um, the choir in the background sounds so dark. It's just, it's it's cool. I really enjoy it. Very much sounds like, you know, a fight song or something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, it's really cool. Number three, the dark side. Cool arpeggios in the dark side. The, uh, well, is it, if you call them arpeggios, the, synth the synthesizers going up and down. Uh, that's cool. I really enjoy them. Uh, it's in a minor key, it sounds really dark, as if the dark side would, uh, wouldn't sound dark, but uh, yeah, it sounds very dark and uh, kind of harkens back to old school muse, like uh, dark shines, like some of the notes are very much uh, dark shines, like out of the chorus. Um, yeah, so yeah, dark sides, I have no real complaints with it, it sounds really cool. Um, the, the solo was really strange and cool, it just sounds like something that would be really good uh, live. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Number two. Break It To Me. Break It To Me's groove, I know people don't like Break It To Me, and it it's really weird to me, because I found the groove, the like that part of the groove, it sounds sick. I love the off-key kind of sound of it. Um, yeah, I think it's awesome. The bass wubs give it like that, that punch, especially when you're playing it through something that has a good bass, like a subwoofer or something. Um, the vocals are a bit weird, like kind of Bollywoody, like if you, if you, would say like in Indian, Asian inspired, you know what I mean? But overall, I love the groove of that song. Everything just sounds, I just love it. I've listened to it a couple of times and it's just like one of my favorites on the, on the album for sure. Number one, Blockades. Of course, this was my number one, guys. Um, it's old muse. Well, not old, old muse, not really going back to origin, um, but definitely Black Holes and Revelations Absolution, that kind of era Muse, so, so good. It brought me back to, that's when I really started enjoying Muse is their albums, like uh, their, their Black Holes and Absolution albums. That's where I really kind of got into Muse. I love the the synth, up, like arpeggios in it. <sighs> sounds so good. Sounds just like, uh, it harkens back to uh, things, songs like Bliss, Map of the Problematique, uh, Knights of Sidonia, MK Ultra, a lot of MK Ultra in there. I think this is the best drumming that Dom's done in their past couple of albums, for sure. Um, it's just the 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 chorus hits you like real hard. Um, it's real dark and just old school, like old dark muse, like exactly what uh, a lot of the fans have been waiting for. I think so. Um, I, th I hope that this makes them happy and they finally stop uh, with the. Fucking go back to old muse, blah, 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 like they always do, it just drives me insane. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to mention, like, really talk about the Super Deluxe Edition or anything like that, any of their songs, but the Algorithm Alternate Reality track is one of my favourites on the album, um, on the Super Deluxe album. It just, compared to the original Algorithm, it's amazing, it's like a... It's like a, a movie, like a soundtrack from a movie, like they're really good at doing those large, huge sounding songs, and those are my favourite Muse songs, are the ones that sound so huge, like Exogenesis Symphony, things like that. Um, they sound so huge and amazing, it's just pure awesomeness. So yeah, that was the, uh, that was the song breakdown, but now I'm gonna kind of place the album. Um, all in all, I'm happy with the album. The, 
they definitely released their strongest songs first, other than Blockades. Blockades was the one that really shook me. I didn't think they were going to go back to that kind of sound, but uh, they really... The, the songs they released, I think, were the better songs on the album, uh, other than Something Human. But their best, better songs were the ones that they released uh, earlier. And um, they were all, like, at the top of my list, basically. And I don't... I kind of don't like when they do that. Like, they did the same thing with Drones, where they released a lot of the songs before Drones actually came out. And I kind of wish that they only released one or two um, and then just drop the album like that. Um, it just kind of makes it a little bit underwhelming when you've heard all of the all of the great songs on the track, and then there are just kind of it just feels like there's kind of filler tracks. You know what I mean? There is there was there was a couple good good songs, but the rest of them kind of sounded like filler tracks, and um, I wasn't really uber impressed with a lot of like the other songs that came on the album, other than uh, other than Blockades, Break It To Me. They were the two that really impressed me that I came back to on the albums. So overall, I rate this album probably a 7 out of 10. I enjoyed most of the elements of the album. I enjoyed the style they were going for. I wish they had kept that style through most of the songs, if not like through all of the songs, um, as some of the songs just definitely weren't in style for the album. Even Blockades wasn't really crazily in that 80s style. Um, I just like it because I like that kind of style of muse. Um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about the album. Um, yeah, I just, I wish they had stayed that way. I wish they had stayed with, stuck with that style. I wish they kind of didn't release things, as many songs as they did straight away. Um, yeah, so overall, good, good album. Not too bad. I would listen to it over and over again. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. If you liked it, uh, comment below. And tell me about it. Tell me what you, if you agree with me, these are just my opinions. So if you disagree, if you agree with me, just comment below, let us know. And um, yeah, if you liked what you've seen here, uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, we're sure to be doing more of this. If we get uh, if we get lots of interest for videos like this, we'll absolutely do lots more of them. So thank you. Th these are my opinions if you wanted to know my opinions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.